hello guys welcome back to food quest channel so today we are doing another recipe i don't know if from the ingredients you can know what we are trying to make today so write it right down in the comments if you know what we are trying to make today i'm making pilau and i hope you enjoyed this video so let's get into it let's get first get into the ingredients So to the ingredients, on my left here I have ginger and garlic, grated ginger and garlic, I have my spices here. So because we are making pilau, the main spice here will be pilau masala. And then I have my tomato puree, well this I did not blend, I just cooked it and if you want a video of how I did it, I'm going to do it, so write down in the comments. I have my onions. So these are like three onions and you know for pilau you need a lot of onions for that brown color. Here I have my tomato paste, meat obviously and now the, to the main ingredient which is rice. So I've washed my rice and now let's get into the cooking process. So we are getting down into business and here I have my oil. So I'm going to let it heat up a bit. So when it's well heated, we start with our onions. We are going to let them cook until they are just a bit cooked and then we can add our meat. So at this point when they are just a little cooked, I'm going to add my meat so that they can cook together. And my meat was warm. So I'm going to let them cook until we get that golden brown color. So the secret here is to keep turning them so that it doesn't stick at one place. So you can see they are browning. So at this point I'm going to put my garlic and ginger. Then I'm going to put them as well. And we are going to also let them be brown. So my garlic and ginger is ready. So at this point I'm going to put my spices in. Then we are going to stir them. We want the spice, the meat to get coated with the spice. We are just going to stir them and give them like five seconds to cook. You can already feel the aroma for the pilau right now. And now I'm going to add my tomato puree. see how good it looks we are going to let this sit for like five minutes and just keep stirring them so that it does not stick to the pan so you can now see how my paste looks like it looks really nice next up we are going to put the tomato paste Then give it a stir. So 
just continue stirring it. So I've been cooking my paste for the last five minutes. And can you just appreciate just how good it looks? I mean, it's out of this world, you know. So next we are going to put the rice and just cover it with this sauce. And then now we can add our water. And now let's the, the rice cook, you know. Our pilau cook, sorry. And on the side here I have my water boiling. I just so it just let it boil so that when I put Put it in the temperature will be the same. So now my paste is looking good. So I'm going to add my rice. And one thing you have to know, the rice must be washed before you even start doing the noodles. Just make it make the water settle down. Well, so here I'm going to just coat my rice with this paste. This is a very important step. Just going to coat it well. And then I'm going to add my water. So I use two cups of rice. So that's one kg. And for every one cup, I use two cups of water. So here we are going to let it boil. And before we do that, we're going to add our salt, salt to taste. And you don't want to put a lot because we don't want to destroy that taste, that pilau taste. You know? Don't do too much, you just put enough. But of course we do taste, testing just to know everything is well blended together. Hmm. Cute. So we are going to let it boil. And then now we can lower the heat. So we are going to cover it and let it let it get a good boil. So guys, it's boiling. My oh my they are wrong. Mm -hmm. You can't. So at this point, I'm going to lower my heat, just and leave it cook. So just to give you guys a few pointers, rice is not cooled, cooked with the heat; it's actually cooked with the steam. So it would be better if you had an aluminium foil, just cover it and then put your lid. But because I do not have it, I'm going to use a different lid. So this is what I'm using. Just make sure all that steam does not get out. It stays right in. And now we're just going to let it cook and now see the final outcome of our pilau. I'm, I'm hoping for the best. So our pilau is ready. And I want you guys to be the judge. Tell me, did we nail it? And of course, we must test it, so... It tastes really nice. So thank you guys for watching until this far. If you made it this far, thank you. And please drop a comment and tell me
how did you like our recipe was it good was it easy will you try it and if you try it let's get social on our instagram at foodquestke and let us know what what you thought about the recipe and if you try it you can put a picture up and tag us too and subscribe comment we love to see your comments so please do thank you very much